Hey everyone. So let us continue our discussion. Our topic for today is about the introduction for the polygons, which is simply naming of polygons. But with all that, we would like to know what are polygons. So a polygon is a closed plane figures formed by line segments. You have in the given figures some of the examples of uh, polygons. Okay. Most of them are, or all of them are probably regular polygons. You have the equilateral triangle with equal sides, a square with equal sides and equal angle, a regular pentagon, regular hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, and decagon. So parts of a given polygon. So you should be familiar with the parts of a polygon. I have here a figure. You have a given polygon, uh, definitely a, a hexagon. You have the side or edge, interior angle, diagonal, the vertex, and the exterior angle. So the side or the edge of a polygon is one of the line segments that makes up the polygon. Adjacent sides are a pair of sides that share a common end point. The vertices of a polygon are the end points of each side of the polygon. Adjacent vertices are end points of a side. A diagonal of a polygon is a line segment joining two non-adjacent vertices of the polygon. As shown in the given figure, you have your diagonal here. The vertex, okay, two vertices, are two non-adjacent vertices are connected by a line segment called diagonal. An interior angle is the angle formed by two adjacent sides inside the polygon. And the exterior angle is an angle that is adjacent to and supplementary to an interior angle of the polygon. So a polygon may also be defined as a union of line segments such as that each vertex is a common endpoint of two adjacent line segments. Also, no, no two adjacent line segments intersect except at an end point and also no two segments with the same end point are collinear types of polygons so equiangular polygon and a polygon is an equiangular if uh, all of its angles are congruent so one example is a square all interior angles are uh, 90 degree or right angles. Equilateral polygon. A polygon is equilateral if all of its sides are equal. You have here an equilateral triangle. So all sides are equal. And a regular polygon. Regular polygons are both equiangular and equilateral. Irregular polygon. A polygon that is neither equiangular nor equilateral is said to be an irregular polygon. So you should be familiar with these types of polygon. And then convex polygon. Every interior angle of a convex polygon is less than 180 degrees. As you'll notice in the given figure, a pentagon. Okay, you have an interior angle or all of its interior angle are less than 180 degrees. If a line is drawn through the convex polygon, the line will intersect at most two sides. So if you draw any line, any diagonal line or straight line, horizontal or vertical line, it will only intersect at most two sides. One example is also given in the given figure above. Concave polygon. A concave polygon has at least one interior angle that measures more than 180 degrees. So the interior angle of a 
or one of the interior angle of the concave polygon measures more than 180 degrees as shown in the given figure above. If a line is drawn through a concave polygon, the line may intersect more than two. So as you'll notice here, this is a star polygon. Uh, a, law, a, draw, a, law, a line is drawn or a horizontal line is drawn and it, there's, it intersects uh, probably four, right? four uh, sides of the given polygon. Naming of polygons. So polygons are named according to their number of sides. Generally, a polygon with n sides is called and gun to form the name of polygons with 13 to 99 sides begin with the prefix of the tenth digit followed by chi chi is the greek word for and and the prefix for the unit's digit as shown in the given table you have the number of sides n three four five and so on and then the name of the given polygon so if you have given six sides you have, the name of that polygon would probably be hexagon. If you have 17 sides, right, so that is a heptadecagon okay, or heptachai decagon. The word chi, I repeat, is the Greek word for N. Okay? If you have 70 sides, heptacontagon. And if you have 10,000 sides, it's called Myria gun, and so on. So for numbers 100 to 999, form the name of the polygon by starting with the prefix for the hundreds digit. Taken from the ones digit, affix the word hecta, then follow the rule on naming polygons with 3 to 99 sides. Uh, for example, uh, from the given table, you have sides for the, what you call this, uh, tens digit here, okay? And then you have on the right side, the ones digit, and it's suffix. So for example, we have to name uh, 74 sided polygon. So you take and you will be taking up 70 as hep, hep the conta followed by chi and then the four uh, digit which is called tetragon so you can call that 74 sided uh, polygon as heptaconta chi tetragon okay. so let's have some uh, problems okay so problem one a 54 sided polygon is called Blank. So possible solution, you have the tens digit of 50 and uh, ones digit of 4. So you'll have this possible value, 50 and 4. 50 is called pentaconta, the word end is called chi, and 4 is tetragon. So the final answer will be pentaconta chi tetragon next problem a 532 sided polygon is called blank possible solution similar to the previous problem we have 500 30 and 2 as one digit i repeat 500 and then 30 and then 2 so you have here 500 is called pentahecta. When it comes to 100, it's hecta. And for tens, it's conta. Okay? So 500 is pentahecta. 30 is triaconta. The word end represents chi. And the one digit is given as 2 is called digot. So the answer will be pentahecta. Try upon the chi diagon. So you should be familiar with the given table and also uh, practice or 
uh, make sure to practice naming some of the polygons. So our next topic will be properties of a regular polygon. 